going to explain the Toyota production system in our video today. The Toyota production system is Toyota's unique approach to manufacturing and serves as a basis for all kinds of today's lean production. The Toyota production system can basically be seen as a house. This house consists of two main pillars. The first one is just in time. The just-in-time production is based on four principles. The first one is a pull system, also called Kanban system. What you see here is how a manufacturing process typically works. You have raw materials that move through the value chain. In the first process, one Lego is added. In the second process, another Lego is added. And in the third and final process, a fourth Lego is added which is then a finished good and can be delivered to the customers. In a push system, production is based on sales forecasts and goods are produced in large batches and kept as inventory until actual demand requires supply. With a pull system, the manufacturing process would look like this. Based on actual demands, goods are being produced Therefore, inventory is significantly reduced. Finished goods are replenished as soon as they are delivered to the customer. This works through a Kanban system. A signal shows the preceding process, in our case process 3, that material supply is needed for the next downstream process. Process 3 then sends this signal back to process 2, who again sends it back to process 1, who then sends it to raw materials. As you can see, by using the pool system, inventory is significantly reduced. Overproduction and overprocessing is prevented. To coordinate the pool system, the Toyota production system uses tag time. This means in which frequency products need to be produced in order to meet customer demand within the production time available. The third principle is Hayunka, which means level production. Instead of producing large lots for a longer demand period, you produce in small lots for shorter demand periods. For example, without level production, you would store the inventory necessary for the production of 100 units for the next 10 days. By making use of level production, however, you would only store the inventory necessary for each day. That is 10 units every day. As you can see, the average inventory is significantly smaller, which obviously results in fewer costs. In addition to this, you can also level the production mix. Without leveling, product production would look like this. The company would look at the demand needed for one week and base their production on this demand. Let's say demand is the highest for product blue, and therefore it is produced first. After this, product red would be produced, followed by product yellow. In a leveled production, products will be produced according to a leveling schedule that corresponds to demand with higher frequency. If an order for product yellow is placed, it can be delivered much faster than with production for a seven-day sequence. Fourth principle is waste reduction. By implementing a just-in-time system, as explained earlier, the seven wastes, overproduction, queues, motion, transportation, inventory, overprocessing, and defective products are eliminated. Back to our house. Um, the first pillar is the just-in-time system. The second pillar of the house is Jidoka. Jidoka means automation with a human touch. This means the manufacturing process is stopped as soon as a defect is detected. Let's say, for example, a worker in process three detects that the product contains a black brick 
instead of yellow brick. This worker would push a button which stops the production process immediately. In addition, the Andon display board would notify management and other workers of a problem in the system. A light on the display board indicates at which workstation the problem lays. Due to the lower inventory, because of just-in-time production, the cause of the defect is also easier to, to detect. Our Toyota production system house is not finished yet. It still needs a roof. The roof of the house contains the goals of the Toyota production system. These consist of producing the highest quality at the lowest cost in the shortest possible lead time. However, a house wouldn't be firm without a foundation. The foundation of the Toyota production system house is the Toyota Way. The Toyota Way is a set of 14 principles. The two most important ones are continuous improvement and respect for people. Due to the Toyota production system, Toyota has become one of the world's largest and most successful automobile manufacturers.